Hi everyone and welcome to the third instalment from Peak UK HQ. Today we're going to have a look at our revolutionary and world leading one piece suits, top tips of how to get in them and how to best look after them. So similar to the jacket we were looking at in the last video, we're just going to head on through, through the legs, up into the jacket to start. Different from other manufacturers, as the leg entry suits, rather than having the zip over the back or around the waist. We designed that for paddling comfort first and foremost. People find it a little bit tricky to get in, but there are some top tips. Firstly, you want to try and pull the waist down as much as you can. This will give you plenty of room on the legs to get those feet into the socks. We're going to start with the right leg first. Always make sure you're doing it on some clean ground. If you haven't got any clean ground in the gravel car park, make sure you put a mat down or maybe a bit old piece of carpet or something like that. So grab the sock and all you're looking to do, brace yourself off one side, kick the leg back. Right leg first. And then repeat on the other leg. When doing the zip up, there's one crucial top tip to remember. We want to keep both sides of the zip nice and straight, nice and parallel to each other. This way there'll be no chance of this puller coming off on any of the teeth. So start off nice and smoothly and then just gently work all the way around the leg. Keeping sure to not catch any of the thermals or treasures and then again the other end making sure the zip is well docked right at the end there tab over the top of the puller and we're zipped up right now we've got the zip done up just the final finishing touches so there's a little draw cord on the inner waist just to keep the trousers up we'll tighten that up Bring the outer waist over the top, tighten all the velcro, and then finally put some water shoes on. Really crucial to make sure that the water shoes are nice and grip free, okay, to look after the socks. But we're ready to go bowing. One of the greatest advantages of our suit is that at the end of the boating session, when everyone's left, you can still get out of your paddling gear by yourself. Okay, so we'll quickly run through how that's done. So run everything in reverse, so undo the jacket, with all the Velcro tabs. Take off the tension off the inner waist, and then undo the zip. Give yourself a little more chance by pulling the inner waist down a touch, gives you a bit more material to work with. And then to get the legs out, when the knee on the outside of the zip, move your leg, leg back towards behind you a touch and feed that trouser leg off and then repeat on the other side. If you struggle with this, you can also do it seated on the floor. And then just take off the rest of it as a normal jacket. Some of our top tips for keeping the suit in nice condition for as long as possible. It's the same with most paddling gear to be honest. So keep it rinsed every now and then in fresh water. Store it in a cool dry place. And when you are drying it, keep it away from direct heat. When you're out on the water, one top tip to look after the socks for as long as possible and to avoid any really harsh abrasion will be to buy some water boots that are a size too big for you. Put the suit on as we've just seen Get some neoprene socks over the top of these fabric socks and then wear your water boots. This will stop any abrasion between the shoes and the fabric socks.
And what which take is this? Four. Four or something. Take four, scene two. <laughs> One of the greatest advantages of our suits is that at the end of a bowing session, when everyone's left. <laughs> oh. <laughs>